This video will show you how to create a shuffled version of a playlist using the Blue OS controller application on a Windows 10 PC. Start the Blue OS controller application. Click on My Playlist. If the playlist that you want to create a shuffled version for does not appear in the shortlist at the top, click the Show All button. Scroll down to find the playlist that you want to create a shuffled version of. In this case, I'm going to create a shuffled version of my Mozart playlist. As you scroll down in the existing playlist, you'll notice that the CDs are stacked in the order from which they were added to the playlist. These are all together. The next CD starts here and so on. Scroll back to the top. Click on the three bars on the bottom right of your screen. Play queue will appear. If there are any entries in the play queue, you need to delete them by clicking on the trash can. That will clear out the play queue and prepare you for creating a shuffled version of your current play queue. Click play all to add these songs to the current play queue. You'll notice that they're populated in the play queue now. You'll also notice that they're put in in the same order that they appeared in the playlist. The first CD is here, the second CD starts here. At this point, you can pause the playing of the playlist unless you want to listen to the music while you're doing this process. I'm going to pause this. Click the shuffle option, and the play queue should be shuffled. If it does not shuffle the first time that you click, the shuffle option, click it again to turn it off, and then click it again to turn it back on again. On a couple of occasions, I've had to do this two or three times in order to get the play queue to shuffle. At this point, you're ready to create the shuffled version of your play queue. Click on the three bars with the down arrow. The dialog box for creating a playlist will appear. Enter an appropriate name. Click OK. Delete the current play queue. Click OK. You'll notice the play queue is now empty. Go back to your playlists. Click on Show All again. Scroll down. You'll see that there are now two Mozart playlists the original Mozart playlist, and the Mozart Shuffled playlist. If you only want to retain the Shuffled playlist, you can delete the original playlist by clicking on the three dots and then clicking Delete. There is no undo function, so don't do this unless you're absolutely sure you want to delete this playlist. Click on the white bar or somewhere else in the screen to make the Delete option disappear. Click on the playlist that you just created. And you will notice as you scroll down that the songs are now shuffled. And if you hit play all, they will appear shuffled in the play queue. This completes this video.